Unlike the phospholipid and fast discussed earlier, steroids have a fused ring structure. Although they do not resemble the other lipids, they are grouped with them because they are also hydrophobic and insoluble in water. All steroids have four linked carbon rings and several of them, like cholesterol, have a short tail. Many steroids also have the OH functional group, which puts them in the alcohol classification. Many human hormones, as well as cholesterol, are steroids, which are lipid, lipids characterized by a carbon skeleton consisting of four fused rings. Different steroids vary in the chemical groups attached to this group of uh, rings. Cholesterol is a common component of animal cell membranes and is also the precursor from which other steroids are synthesized. In vertebrates, cholesterol is synthesized in the liver. The cholesterol molecule is, is essential to life. It has been responsible for 17 Nobel Prizes, countless pages of reports in scientific journals, and the popular press and causing anxiety on the part of health conscious people. The human body contains about 100 grams of cholesterol. Most of this is incorporated in the membranes from which cells are constructed and, and is uh, indispensable component of them. Although cholesterol is often spoken of in negative terms, it is necessary for the proper functioning of the body. It's a component of the plasma membrane of animal cells and is found within the phospholipid bilayer. The amount of cholesterol in animal plasma membranes regulates the fluidity of the membrane and changes based on the temperature of the cell's environment. In other words, cholesterol acts as an antifreeze in the cell membrane and is more abundant in animal cells that live in cold climates. Cholesterol interacts with phospholipids by orienting its polar hydroxyl head group close to the polar lipid head group. The rigid rings of cholesterol interact with and partly immobilize the fatty acid chains closest to the polar phospholipid head group. As a consequence, lipid molecules adjacent to cholesterol are less free to adapt to different conformations than those in, those in cholesterol-free membrane region. By decreasing the mobility of a few, few methylene groups in the fatty acid tails, cholesterol makes lipid bilayers less deformable and lessens their permeability to small water-soluble molecules. Therefore, cholesterol makes membranes less fluid. Although cholesterol makes bilayers less fluid at the high concentrations, concentrations of cholesterol found in eukaryotic cells, it also prevents fatty acid hydrocarbon chains from coming together and crystallizing. Therefore, cholesterol prevents fatty acid chains from ordering into a crystal-like state. Cholesterol inhibits phase transitions in lipids. At low temperatures, it increases membrane fluidity by preventing fatty acid hydrocarbon chains from coming together and crystallizing. Under these conditions, cholesterol inhibits the transition from liquid to solid, decreasing the membrane freezing point, point. At high temperatures, cholesterol decreases membrane fluidity. Therefore, under this condition, cholesterol increases the melting point. For example, the temperature of a car's engine is modulated by water circulating with antifreeze, which lowers the freezing point of the antifreeze so it does not freeze in the winter. The antifreeze also raises the boiling point in the summer so that the car's engine does not overheat. Cholesterol does a similar thing in cells and acts like antifreeze. The influence of cholesterol on membrane properties is critical for the normal functioning of eukaryotic cells. Cholesterol is the most common steroid. Small modifications in the molecular structure of steroids can produce remarkable differences in their biological activities. Cholesterol is mainly synthesized in the liver and is the precursor to many steroid hormones such as testosterone and estradiol, which are secreted by the reproductive organs. Therefore, steroids play very important roles in the body's reproductive system. Many important biological uh, functions of the human body are controlled by steroid hormones. It is also the precursor to vitamin D. Cholesterol is also the precursor of bile salts, which help in the digestion of fats and their subsequent absorption by cells. The insulating layers of myelin around neurons are especially rich in cholesterol. It is active in the brain and affects the nervous system. Now let's take a look at some of the important human steroid hormones. Aldosterone is a hormone produced in the 
outer section of the adrenal glands, which sit above the kidneys. Aldosterone is often called the salt retaining hormone. It plays a central role in the regulation of blood pressure, mainly by acting on organs such as the kidneys and the large intestine to increase the amount of salt reabsorbed into the bloodstream and to increase the amount of potassium excreted in the urine. Aldosterone acts on the kidneys, promoting the absorption of sodium and water this increases blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Cortisol is a steroid hormone made in the cortex of the adrenal glands. Almost every cell contains receptors for cortisol and so cortisol can have lots of different actions depending on which sort of cells it is acting upon. These effects include, include controlling the body's blood sugar levels and thus regulating metabolism, acting as an anti-inflammatory, influencing, influencing memory formation, controlling salt and water balance, influencing blood pressure, and helping the development of the fetus. Cortisol, cortisol is often called the stress hormone because of its connection to the stress response. However, cortisol is much more much more done than just a hormone released during stress. Progesterone belongs to a group of steroid hormones called progestogens. It is mainly secreted by the ovary during the second half of the menstrual cycle. It plays an important role in the menstrual, uh, menstrual cycle. It, it, uh, it plays uh, an important role in the menstrual cycle and in maintaining the early stages of pregnancy. The progesterone prepares the body for pregnancy in the event that the released egg is fertilized. If the egg is fertilized, progesterone stimulates the growth of blood vessels that supply the lining of the uterus and stimulates glands in the endometrium to secrete nutrients that nourish the early embryo. Progesterone then prepares the tissue lining of the uterus to allow the fertilized egg to implant and helps to maintain the endometrium throughout pregnancy. During the early stages of pregnancy, progesterone is still produced and is essential for supporting the pregnancy and establishing the placenta. During pregnancy, progesterone plays an important role in the development of the fetus, stimulates the growth of maternal breast tissue, prevents lactation and strengthens the pelvic wall muscles in preparation, preparation for labor. The level of progesterone in the body steadily rises throughout, throughout pregnancy until the baby is born. Uh, estradiol is a steroid hormone made from cholesterol and is the strongest of the three naturally produced uh, estrogens. It is the main estrogen found in women and has many functions, although it mainly acts to mature and maintain the female reproductive system. A natural increase in blood estradiol concentrations during the menstrual cycle causes an egg to mature and be released. Another important role of estradiol is to thicken the lining of the uterus so that the egg can implant if it becomes fertilized. Estradiol also promotes the development of the breast tissue and increases both bone and cartilage density. Estradiol levels vary throughout the monthly menstrual cycle, being highest at ovulation and lowest at menstruation. In pregnant women, the placenta also produces a lot of estradiol, especially towards the end of the pregnancy. Testosterone is produced by the testes, uh, although small quantities are also, also produced by the adrenal glands in both sexes. It stimulates the development of male characteristics present uh, present in much greater levels in the man than woman, testosterone initiates the development of the male internal and external reproductive organs during fetal, fetal devel development and is essential for the production of sperm in adult life. This hormone also signals the body to make new blood cells, ensures that muscles and bones stay strong during and after puberty and enhances libido both in men and women. Testosterone is linked to many of the changes seen in boys during puberty, including an increase in height, body and uh, pubic, pubic hair growth, enlargement of the testes and changes in sexual and aggressive behavior. Thanks for watching.